All right, hey guys, what's going on? Dan's news here. Welcome to uh, Operation Decorate Dan's Room. Look at that flare over there. Look at that flare. Anyway, um, so yeah, this is the first part. Um, actually, I'm a lot farther in uh, with decorating than I thought I would be for the first part. But uh, let's see here. Show you off. Show you off. Show you guys my. Uh, got some posters up. Some bad reflections here, but got the uh, Watchmen poster right here. Got a Spider-Man, Spider, 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 original Spider-Man poster there. And we got some, uh, down the Batman Begins, and we got some Dark Knight. And the intent here is to have kind of like the Bat, oh, look at that lens flare artifact going on there. Ooh, holy shit! Heath Ledger as the Joker. So yeah, then, uh... Gonna get Dark Knight there, and then there are gonna be actually uh, two Dark Knight Rises posters right there. Um, I just ordered them because I figured, hey, I'll just do a Batman wall right here, kind of, and then my new bed will be right here. And um, I'm still rocking the uh, air mattress, but I also ordered the bed and mattress and everything, so that should be here soon. But um, for the Dark Knight Rises posters, I have. Uh, the two posters, one's Batman and one is going to be Bane, and it's the posters where they're posing and it says rise and it's raining and stuff. Um, so that'll be cool to have Batman wall. Cool. Um, then, yeah, it's kind of a mess in here because I, uh, I just got all these packages, a lot of these stiff today. When I say a lot of the stuff, I mean mainly the cat stuff. My new chair, this is my new chair. I was talking about in my um, shirt and shorts video that I was going to get a new chair. And this is the new chair. It is beast. It is a massively heavy chair. This is my old chair. And again, there wasn't anything like absolutely wrong with this chair. It's just the chair I got when I first moved in. It does squeak. Again, I know I could fix it. People were saying just put oil on it. I, I, I That's not the main reason why I was getting a new one. Um, the main reason is actually when I when I sit down... I um, put my left foot under my, like, no, I put my right foot under my left leg. And so my, my, the ba bottom of my foot will rub against the chair every single time I do that. And what this chair, but like the material it does, is it leaves like, hold on, let's look at my weird hairy feet. Um, it leaves that like kind of, it's not a rash, but it's like a mark, kind of scrape thingamajig. And it is not comfortable. Um, so, uh, that's one of the reasons. That and I was looking for a really nice, comfortable chair that I didn't have to worry about. And shabam, this thing is it. This thing is a tank. It holds up to 450 pounds. Um, and I wear nowhere near that. So, um, yeah. That should be fine. People were saying in the reviews that it was a tank, and I completely agree. The package it came in was 53 pounds. Um, that's a heavy-ass chair. Here. Take that, stupid jerk chair. Man, I like this lens flare I got going on here. Whew, super flare, yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so we got this cool poster set up here behind the desk. It allows for a cool little uh, a Triforce thing there. I wasn't even intending on doing that. It's just the way it worked out. Um, and the showcasing is kind of like, kind of oddly out of sequence. I mean, as you can see right here, Hellboy is the, uh, the featured poster in the center there. The reason why I have that there is because of the uh, sword that is right under it. Um, I don't have anything to go under that poster or this poster, although I do have blade sword. Um, if you've seen my swords video, which is kind of old, um, I do have the blade sword, but I don't have it mountable. So, yes. So that's, uh, if you've seen Hellboy, which Hellboy is awesome, by the way. If you've seen Hellboy, um, that guy right there in the center with the uh, the blade coming out of his wrist sleeve coat thing um, That's Conan's or Conan Cronin's uh, sword Carl Rupert Cronin um, That's his sword from the uh, Pretty much after the opening scene after he's done using those things um, uh, Fast forward Like I don't know 50 or so years. It's more than 50 years. No oh. Takes place. I don't know. Anyway, fast forward uh, many years after World War II, and he is using that sword. And it's actually kind of cool because it has the same engraving his sword does in the film, which it's like 
for Germany or something like that, or for the motherland, something, something, Deutschland. Uh, there you go. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah, has the engraving on there. It's awesome. It is an exact movie replica. It's, like, officially licensed and all that stuff. Really cool, and I think it looks awesome behind my desk. I got Dark Knight Rises poster, Blade poster. The reason I have the Blade poster right here featured, one, because I love Blade, and uh, two, I have more Blade stuff. I have the sword, and then I have these little bad boys. I got his stakes, and then right there is um, his uh, kind of rope knife thing he has from the third movie. Uh, that uh, Blade actually detaches from the handle, and there's a wire inside the handle. So I technically could swing that thing around, although I would be kind of afraid of it breaking <laughs> and the blade would go flying. Not that the blade is really sharp, but uh, yeah, it's pretty neat and awesome. And it's it's cool that it actually does that, but I wouldn't actually swing it around and all that stuff. Um, then I got the Bat Dance mask on the uh, the uh, bust head there. I finally ordered a bust head because Bat Dance always leaves that mask just laying around. And uh, threw some aviators on it because why not look fancy? Um, and I wasn't really f planning on focusing on this, but, uh, if you're a fan of Coheed and Cambria, I, uh, I've never read the comics, um, that, uh, Claudio has written, so I actually ordered it out of sequ sequence. This is the collection of, uh, In Keeping Secrets of Silent R3, and, uh, the first one is Second Stage Turbine Blade, so I ordered th that Ultimate Collection. Whoa! Um, and again, something I wasn't planning on featuring, but... This is uh, Chandler Riggs when we met him at uh, Denver Comic-Con. He gave us a couple free signed pictures because he's awesome. And, uh, yeah, it was awesome meeting him. That was a while ago, though. So, yeah, my desk. The uh, this, is, this is a big one. This desk is um, very high horse. So is the chair. And um, ooh, 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 ooh. Um, to complete the high horseness, I had to get a name um, plaque thing. It's clear. Daniel Goodloe, Dan's News Productions. I know, right? High horse. I I didn't skimp. <laughs> I mean, if this is going to be my setup for the next, I don't know, two or three years, I think I'm set. That's kind of what I've been, like, without buying all this stuff. It's like, you know, do I want to be comfortable over the next, you know, couple years, or do I want to have kind of janky equipment that I'm going to have to replace anyway? So I've kind of been going all out and... Um, and again, it's thanks to you guys. You guys watch my videos, so I can afford to kind of get stuff to make the making of videos a lot smoother, including new PC. This is since I'm I, since I've been moving into my room. If you watch my 200,000 subscribers video, this this video shouldn't be that much of a surprise to you. But um, new computer. Um, this was built by Coots. Um, he assembled all the parts, and if you want to see. Um, what parts I have in this computer. Uh, in the description there will be a picture of all the parts. Every single part that went into this computer. Um, I don't have a list compiled, I just have a picture of all the parts. But uh, yeah, Coots was awesome enough to help, uh, well not help, but completely build it. Um, order the parts. Well, I ordered the parts, but you know, put together the parts to order. Um, and it was awesome. He was very nice to do that. And uh, took time out of his day to do. Sorry, I'm moving that so there isn't something in the shot uh, yeah look at that that's for Fisher right there um, that is his litter box it's a covered litter box you actually like fill it with kitty litter he goes poop and stuff in it and then um, to empty it out you like roll it you roll it that way there's a filter in there that catches all the litter into like this container and then the poop goes around and uh, you you pull that out that I'll have the poop in it. Then you like roll it back. Well, you have to empty that out. And then uh, roll it back and all the litter comes back into the thing. It's pretty neat. Same thing kind of with the food bowl. Um, I got uh, this cool little thing where it looks like a face. Oh, it's kind of creepy. It's like, hey, 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 please feed me, cat. Um, if it spills, like the water spills, goes through those great, and then you rinse it out. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to 
people have been asking. So uh, I get Fisher on the 9th of October. Oh, there's a squirrel out there. You can't see him. You can't see him. Hold on. Squirrel. There he is. I hope you saw him. I hope you saw him. I'm sorry about that. I didn't get the squirrel in time. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be getting him on October 9th. So that's exciting. That's why I'm preparing for all the cat stuff. Um, there are, There is more stuff that I've ordered that... Uh, Hold on, let's see if I can get me in view here. Oh, hi, I'm Dan. Um. Hi. So, um, yeah, I'm ordering more stuff. You can look at the weird contraption. I got this microphone pointed backwards. Um, I ordered more stuff to uh, set up in the room. Um, mainly... Um, Fisher's cat tower. I ordered a cat tower for him so he can climb on and stuff. And um, what else? There's a, there's a couple other things um, that's coming that uh, will complete the final touches of the room, including my bed, um, an actual bed. Finally, after living in this house for I don't know seven months at this point, I haven't gotten a real bed, and I'll get a real bed. And then you know, if we ever decide not to renew the lease. I'm going to have to get an apartment and then move all the stuff out. Yay! That'll be fun. Maybe we'll all just rent one big truck that we can use between all the different moves, maybe. I don't know. So, yeah, thank you for watching. And uh, there will be another, probably maybe one or two more videos of Operation Decorate Dan's room. And, uh, and you'll see how the room turns out in the end. So, yeah. So, so something else really quick that I didn't point out. Um, these new lights. I got new lights. There's one through the mirror, and then one right there. Um, it's, uh, this light here is not very bright by itself, so it's nice to have more lights. So, yep, thank you for watching.